Today we have two new things that we want to try. It's kind of, it's the same thing, but it's different styles. Um, there is a supermarket that we like to shop at called Aldi, and you may have one near you. Aldi is a um, German-based supermarket, and they have the best things when it's the holidays. And yeah. one of the things that they have is called Stalin. Now, I have a friend named Troy that every year loves to get a Stalin. And I was like, you know what? When they put them out this year, we're going to get one and we're going to try it and see what it's like. So, we got these things. I swear you could lift weights with them. They it's, are very dense. It's like a brick. I didn't, I didn't know that. I know. So, um, this is Winter Noct, um, which is Winter Night, obviously. And this one is a Marzipan Stalin, Stalin. And this one is a Butter Almond Stalin. And they're actually made in Germany. And they had a cherry one, but I'm not big on cherries. Right. And they had little bites of an apple one. If we like this, I might go back and get the little bites and try those. The yeah, apple ones would be good, I think. But yeah, uh, these were like, I don't know if you have the receipt, but these uh, were, they were, they were less than six bucks. Yeah. It was, it was like, like five some Yeah, Yeah, five seventy nine or something. Yeah, so less than six bucks for this hefty, hefty thing. And... All I know about Stalin is it's a bread filled with like dried fruits and stuff. So I'm actually looking forward to trying this. So we're going to, I'm going to get up and I'm going to go in there and slice it and I'll be right back. Because, oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, they are absolutely coated in powdered sugar, um, icing sugar. So that is going to be a mess. So we're yeah. not opening that up in the living room at all. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I've cut us both a slice of each. This is what it looks like of clothes. This is the strip of marzipan in there, marzipan, whatever. And this is the butter almond. Now, they like smell that. good. I think, I think in Stalin, they soak the fruit in liquor because it smells there's liquor in here. It smells like there's liquor in here. Does it to you? Or is it me? Not really. It does to me. Maybe it's just the weird smell of bread. I don't know. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna try we're gonna try the butter almond stalin first. I'm actually gonna eat it over my yeah, plate. Okay. What do you think about it? it I mean it it's kinda like what you said. Earlier, it's like a bread version of a fruitcake. Yeah. It's pretty good. It actually is good. Um, it's actually not as dry as I thought it was going to be. Um, it's not super moist. No. But it's not very dry either. It would actually be really good with like a cup of coffee yeah. or a hot cup of like English breakfast tea or something. The flavor... I'm not getting butter, really, but no. I'm tasting, I'm tasting the candy. I tasted almost like a, um, did you taste like a candied citrus peel or something? Like yeah. I got like a citrus yeah. flavor. Hmm. I'm going to take one more bite of the butter stall and hold on. Okay. The almond comes through for sure. Mm -hmm. I can really taste the almond. And it tastes like. I don't know if those are raisins or sultanas. It tastes, it tastes kind of like raisins to me, but I don't know. And there's nuts in there as well. Yeah. It's very good. Okay, let's let's try the marzipan one and try to make sure that you get a bite of the actual marzipan in there. Oh my god. That's good. Oh, it does taste like those bear claws that I like. Mmm. Wow. That one's good. Mmm. I like that. Much better than the butter one. Yeah. I think the butter one is good. The butter one, I'm not sad we bought. I was thinking, dang, I'm actually glad we bought this. This is really good. But the one with the marzipan? It's 
Really good. Wow. You know what? I thought the marzipan was going to kind of be a little hard. And it's actually really soft. Almost like an almond paste. Which is a little bit different than a marzipan. It's a little bit, usually a little bit softer. But I don't know. Wow. I can really taste the candied citrus in that yeah, as well. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm going to eat this. Marzipan typically is made with a little, just a little hint of rose water. And I was trying to see if I could detect any rose or floral. And really the only floral that I'm tasting comes from the almond. Yeah. It's like a very fragrant almond flavor. This is amazing. I can see why our friend Troy buys one of these every year. And I think this is going to be a new tradition for us as well. It's amazing. It's filling. I'm going to be happy to it's, eat all of this. It's real filling. Yeah. It won't take much of your pull. No, I don't think so either. Okay, sorry about the edit. We actually had a technical mishap thanks to the dog. Mm -hmm, again. Okay, so out of five stars, what do you rate the butter almond Stalin? Three, three and a half. It, um, and the marzipan one about a four. Okay. It was a lot better. Okay. Um, that one is, it's almost too dry. It needs another, it needs a texture like that. Okay. Like a, he's saying some, the, but, the butter one's some, dry. Some kind of filling. Okay. I, I agree. Um, not only does the, um, marzipan add more, a different texture into the bread. It adds a, another level of flavor, like another layer. And, um, I don't, I, I would give the butter almond a three and a half as well. Um, I don't really taste, I can taste the almond, but it's not almond forward considering that it's called a butter almond Stalin. Um, I tasted more of the fruit. It definitely tasted very, um, kind of fruit cake, but it's a bread. Now maybe if you sp sp spread some butter on that, it might help. That's actually a good idea. We might try that. I might try that for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And see if like a little bit of like salted Kerrygold will bring all the. That might that, that might help. Yeah. Okay. And I'm actually going to give the marzipan Stalin a five out of five stars. I was blown away by it. The the texture was nice and soft, and it really brought all the other flavors together in my mouth. It was, I was very happy. It was happy. a lot better. It was, it was a lot better. So, I was very happy with it. Um, 10 out of 10, would buy again. Yeah. Um, I would buy both of them again, but I prefer, like... I wouldn't be upset if I went into the store and all they had was the butter almond. I would still buy it. But if I had to only get one, I would definitely be picking the one with the marzipan in it. Because it is... I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to clean my plate as soon as I turn this off. Okay. That, Matt, I'm going to... That changed everything. Okay. I cut this part in. Matt just went and spread a little bit of salted Kerrygold on the almond butter. Completely changed it. I agree that adding the salted butter really elevates the butter almond Stalin. It really adds another level if of flavor. If it's not salted, I don't think it would work. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it needs to be salted butter. So, not sponsored by Kerrygold, but salted Kerrygold really is the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finish. Go ahead. You can go ahead and finish that. Yeah. And good. then I'm going to cut back in. So. Thanks for watching. That is our review on Aldi's Stalin. So if you have an Aldi near you, I highly recommend going and getting one if you haven't tried it yet. Or if you have a German slash Bavarian type village anywhere or anywhere where you can get German things. If you can get like your hands... Bakery. Right. German bakery. Exactly. If you can get your hands on a Stalin for the holiday season, I absolutely recommend it. This is going to be my breakfast until it's gone. <laughs> so thanks for watching. And um, these are reviews with Laura and Matt. And yep. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Goodbye.